Boyan Bogdanovich hitting threes with Andrew Wiggins chasing guys around. There's a lot to happen in this game. Some big time matchups tonight. Pick and roll defense is going to be so important. So Trey Maddox and JTR, Matt Bowen will blow the whistles. Bogdanovich has attacked inside a couple times. And then bottoming the three is Donovan Mitchell. As Kalena mentioned, they both live at the three-point line, so whoever makes the most triples likely to have the advantage. Bogdanovich setting up Gobert. See the drives they're getting? On-ball defense is going to be really important tonight to contain. See Utah playing quality D, making sure Clay couldn't get it. Now he rises and buries the three. They're just using the fact that Gobert wants to stay around the restricted circle. Conley. Hiding behind Gobert, Looney with a good switch. Gobert was fouled as he dunked it. Interesting. The contact came and then he went up and hammered in. That's what happens when you switch, though. That one, he's had a bunch right on line. The first two misses have been rattling in and out. Mitchell drop it in the three, and Steve Kerr is going to use a timeout. Bogdanovich, Clever Conley, all those great years in Memphis. And Heights behind Gobert, and it's a three. There's the most threes of anybody off the bench. Sixth man of the year. I love that. Draymond looking for his own offense. He's got to be a threat. This is about as small as the Warriors get, so the speed and the shooting at Porter become critical. Andrew Wiggins has to be assertive. And the floater, you pointed out with Draymond. I do like them going under that screen because Mitchell is so explosive. Setting up Jordan Poole. Jordan following his own shot. Making sure he got a little contact and floated it in. You can see Draymond's mindset. He is sprinting into the front court every time. Get to Utah before the defense gets set. And a skip pass to Bogdanovich. Wiggins, good rotation, better shot. That's the NBA. Good offense, beating good defense. Kevin Garnett in Uncut Gems was amazing. He was too. really good. Maybe that Adam Sandler guy is really good at movies. He loves basketball. Donovan Mitchell hitting the three. Donovan Mitchell loves basketball and step backs. Oh, never stopped running. He had it blocked. GP2 tracking him down. Iguodala and Clay. And no one getting that one. You got to love that sequence for the Warriors. Could not have a bigger contrast at center between Gobert and Bielitsa. Gobert, good ball movement. House the open corner three. When they get the ball inside. Clay checks it, top of the key jumper is off iron and Bielitsa another opportunity. Reload Clay Thompson, yes! Final 25 ticks of kind of a wild first quarter. You can feel the energy level from both teams. Conley, that's a nice delivery, and Hernan Gomez a better finish. Hernan Gomez, Gobert, Clarkson, Daniel House Jr., and Conley. Hernan Gomez bottoming that three, so for Utah, seven main threes. That's why Hernan Gomez had that opening. Play springs free, and he drops in a triple. Hunts it a little show and go, and he hung himself on the rim. Conley corner three, and the Jazz trade the three for two. Markson able to turn the corner, nifty finish. He had two defenders around him, but he's not going to slow down very easily. Markson's got the elites on a switch. Incredibly difficult cover there. Nemedia played it well, and he made the bucket anyway. This is Utah's biggest lead. You'd love to get something going to the basket with a convicted or someone else and get to the free throw line if you can. Gobert, very deep position. It's over when he catches it there. They're doing whatever they want offensively. Nadala playing solid deep. Shot clock at four. Conley hides behind the stifled tower and hits the three. They're in rhythm now. Any advantage that they see they have, they're taking it quick. DP2, they're just playing the odds, and Peyton makes them pay with a triple. Wiggins gave ground, the step through by Mitchell. And these second chance points piling up now, nine for the Jazz. Bogdanovich, very tough shot. Clay played great defense there. The outlet to pull. He's trying to beat the Jazz down court. He does. So many quality teams in the Western Conference. Depends on which night you get them, and Donovan Mitchell has 17 in the first half. 
Not very often. Knowing your personnel. Pool three. Got it. 19 and a half for Jordan Poole. And it's slow down Jordan Poole has been amazing. Good screen, Tatum. Poole has slipped and lost it. It fuels the Utah break. And the turnover becomes a layup. That's unfortunate. Shot clock at seven. Got to keep moving. Wiggins right down the line and put it over the French rejection. And a frustration foul there tying up Gobert. Wiggins has three fouls. Draymond has three. And Bogdanovich hits the three. That's a five-point swing. Clay's got that in his game. Clay and Poole at 33. Conley. Warden off Looney to finish that. It's kind of like in between the mid-range jumper and a floater. It's there. Follow oh, lead by Donovich in the corner. He'd already made one. Utah is so good. I mean, you're going to give him a 12, 15 point lead. They'll play with this all day. And they push it back up to 17. Going under that screen, he's rising up. Only skip pass. Mitchell catching two, three. I mean, that's why they're so dangerous. Team philosophy is let it fly, but there's an expletive in front of that. <laughs> Also has an F. Well, I think that's Clay's motto as well. He's letting it fly. Washington Kwan from 21 down within 11. There's the double team again. The skip pass to Conley. Raymond's flying at him. Conley floater with the offhand. Flipped it in and threw the foul. What a tough shot. P2 set in the screen. Clay three. And Wiggins the offensive rebound to a dive cut Payton. That's how you get something going in the basket. And Peyton knocking it away. Peyton with the steal. Peyton and O'Neal soars by him to lay it in. He is as good as any player in the NBA the whole month of March. Continuing it in April. Mitchell all the way to the rim. Oh, he's tricky. Conley and Mitchell have been excellent tonight. Cool. Speaking of floaters, that's 24 in his own right. Well executed again. Conley hiding behind Gobert, who's going to return with the roll, got the jumper instead. So as Mitchell sits, now Conley takes over. Very quickly to begin the fourth, Utah doubles the advantage. They were up six. Pushes to 12. What a pass, Iguodala and Raymond. Oh, no. That pass was off of Porter, and he made sure the Warriors didn't lose it. And Clay hits a three. It was all in the plan. That was the play. Stops and scores. Stops and scores. Stop and score. And now it's a 10 point game. Oh, Clay Thompson. Top three! Only he makes them like that. And everything's getting much tougher for the Jazz offensively. Look at this. No one even picked up. Andrew Wiggins in transition. It should have been Gobert, but he's at the basket. Critical. Three team fouls on Utah, four on the Doves. Clay hides behind Draymond. A lean in three. He's that hot. Pool for the lead. Good. An 18 nothing run. Officials elect not to do that. Conley, that strong left hand, and a nice floater makes it a one-point game. Then, There's no shot clock. You exactly. don't need to shoot. They have to come foul exactly. you. Exactly. They're going to foul you. And Poole's the one that's fouled. You're in control right now. You're in control. If Jordan could hit two free throws. That's it. And there's the first one. He makes it both. You cannot give up a three. You can't. Unbounded. Academic. What a fourth quarter by the Golden State Warriors.